Here is how you control nearby devices on iPhone using FaceTime control. But first, hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. It really helps me out. Thank you. So the first step is both devices need to be iPhone or iPad and they need to be on iOS 18 or newer. We will now start a FaceTime call between both devices. Once in a FaceTime call, we need to share our screen. So let's say for this video, this is the iPhone where I want to, you know, share my screen and this iPhone will be able to control this one. So I'll tap on share and then I'll share my screen. So now the iPhone on the left will see the screen of the iPhone on the right. So we can tap the preview to view it and we need to go home for us to see the preview. So as long as both iPhones have added each other as a contact, so you need your Apple ID and phone number added on both contacts apps, then the iPhone on the left is able to annotate the iPhone on the right. So I can do a nice smiley face and you can see it's gonna be annotated. But what about actually controlling the phone? Because right now I'm swiping the iPhone on the left and it's not actually controlling the iPhone on the right. So what we need to do is use this button at the bottom right. This is a pointer button. And we'll tap on this one and that will allow the remote access. But we have a problem. It says remote access has been declined. So if we want to get around this, how this works is when you freshly add a contact, you know, you need to wait one to two days. We don't want to wait. So I'm going to hang up the FaceTime and on the iPhone, which we're sharing the screen on, we will open settings and from the home page of settings, we'll go into general. We will then go into date and time and we're going to turn off the automatic date and time. And we're just going to set the date forward by a day. Yes, you can do this. And so we're just going to FaceTime again. And now this time I'm going to tap the icon and you can see we got around that in 10 seconds. So it says remote control, Alf wants to control. So let's tap on allow. And now we're doing the remote control. So check this one out. My iPhone's on the left and I'm able to control the phone on the right. So you can see that right there, the iPhone on the right is being controlled by the iPhone on the left. You can even do like the swipe navigation gestures. We can swipe down. I mean, you can do literally everything you could think of. You know, you could boom, open up apps, close out of apps. And so, yeah, when you want to stop, you either tap on stop on the iPhone to the right, or you tap the cursor button again. So I hope this video helps.